walang bata. Walang... Ah! That was that was me. That was me and uh, I'm Angel. Oh my god. Kamusta kayo? Mabuhay, magandang umaga and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ako po si Ovila and you guys know that I've always, always been curious about my TNT boys, my chipmunks. I've always wanted to know more about their past, about their parkour to get to where they are right now. And they have finally released a documentary about these tiny tiny little Filipino boys that I love so much you know Mackie and Puerto, Kiefer Sanchez and Francis Concepcion um, but yeah this video I probably won't be able to release it publicly on YouTube because the first image of this video it's basically them saying the following video is protected by copyright and trademark law so basically, they do not want anyone to use this content. So I will release my reaction video to this on Patreon for my patrons that I love so, 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 so much. So, 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 so much. Um, but the title of this video is TNT Boys Journey to the World Stage. Full episode one, which means that we'll have another episode, at least one other episode. So grab your popcorn because this is going to be a long video the video in itself is 25 minutes long i will also put the english subtitles so that i can understand the tagalog okay let's go from now on i will be adding this snippet in all my videos because people keep asking me how to become patrons of mgn so go to www.patreon.com slash music game news and become a rookie patron for one dollar a month to have access to all the exclusive and full reaction videos <sighs> so exciting. They are probably some of the best young singers on the planet. All the way from mm -hmm. the Philippines. It's, it's the TNT boy. My boys. It's my superstars. Hello po, ako mga po pala si Maki Puerto, 13 years old po from the TNT boys. Hello po, ako po si Keeper Sanchez, 14 years old po from the TNT boys. Hello po, ako po si Francis Concepcion, 12 years old from the TNT boys. 12, 13, 14. Is actually po, una po, sumali po kami sa tawag ng tanghalan. Tawag ng tanghalan. Do you know why I don't react as often as I would like to to tawag ng tanghalan? It's for a very sad sad reason that i hate myself for it uh it's because of how not attractive the design of the show is you know starting with the logo i mean come on guys you have to remodel everything even that logo is just so old school like it's not attractive it doesn't make me want to participate or even watch the show you know ASAP Natinto looks more modern, but the Tawagan Tanghalan just looks so dingy. I don't know. It needs to look fresher. Oh my God! Look at uh, look at Mackie and Puerto. How old was he? <gasps> Mackie used to regularly join local singing competitions with the help of his father Rodrigo, who was always by his side. Pag birthday niya dito lang, minsan ano, yung cupcake, lagi namin ng ano, ng kandila. It's better than nothing, man. It's better than nothing, you know. At least you got a candle on top of a cupcake, you know. Like, thank your parents for that. Narinig namin na may parang kulog-kulog yung boses niya. Sabi namin, ay, marunong siyang kumanta. Kulang na talaga to. Oh, man. It's Mackie in Puerto. Yes, he has a nice vibrato, but it's his runs. His perfect runs that really stand out. To me, at least. Hey, I never noticed that he also has a, uh, you know, a dent here. He probably hit himself as well. So many people 
have like a cicatrice, we say in French. I forget the name in English. But yeah, they have something here because, you know, they hid themselves. Kiefer Sanchez, the eldest of the group. Kiefer, at three years old, learned how to sing before he even learned how to read. I mean, it doesn't surprise me anymore. Someone who doesn't know much about the Philippines would be like, what? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I said. They probably are born with a microphone and a karaoke machine in their hands. Wow, that is... Wow, man, it's like, it's when you watch documentaries like this that you realize how lucky you are and fortunate you are, man. Because to, to most people that live in Canada or the States, you know, Filipinos call this a house. Here, you don't call it a house, you know, so, oh my gosh. Si Daddy po, driver po siya noon, pero ngayon pinatigil ko na po siya. Kasi malabo na po yung ano niya. Ah. How did you make him quit his job? You mean you made him quit his job after you became popular, right? There's definitely potential, power, and a vibrato, but he was off pitch a lot. <laughs> nice. Francis! Being the fifth child in a family of nine, Francis helped, helped to make ends meet by singing on the streets in exchange for money. Wow, this kid had it rough. I mean, nine kids? Oh my god. Yung bahay po namin ng tatay ko. Okay lang po. Masaya naman sa loob. May sapat naman pong... Bubong, hindi naman po natutuluan, pati may bintana. I love, I love uh, what, you know, JR said. Um, I don't know why he called him JR, but yeah, uh, Francis Concepcion. He seemed very grateful, even though they didn't have much, you know. Kuya ko, pati po yung nanay ko, mag, magkaroon na po ng trabaho. Pati yung tatay ko po. Trabaho! Ng... That's work. That's a uh, Spanish word. Kino. Trabajo. Oh, JR, JR, because it's Francis Concepcion Jr. Okay. Aunt Grace sent Francis to school when his parents couldn't afford to. Wow, that is very generous of her. Mendy is Francis's cousin. She takes care of him when his aunt Grace is not around. Oh my god! Wait, wait, I recognize that house. I think that's where Francis sang with the other kid that isn't part of the TNT boys. I forgot his name. Oh. I forgot his name, but I think that's where I saw them sing. He was so skinny, because now he's like the uh, roundest of them all. <laughs> so cute! Mm. All right. What? He's actually on pitch and singing very well. And I'm loving also his mannerism, you know, the movements. Yeah, baby, he's feeling it. There we go. John Clyde Talini. That's the kid that I saw Francis Concepcion sing together in that house. I think they were at Francis Concepcion's aunt's house when they were singing that. Congratulations! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! I know these people. Okay, I know Vice Genda. 
I know, what's her name? The non-singer but great actress. Ah, I forgot her name. And uh, James Reed's girlfriend. Uh, what's her name? I forgot. Ikaw ang ating tawag ng tanghalan kids grand champion. John Clyde Talini ng Mintana. Congratulations. That helped them push na maging successful kasi meron silang drive na How much is that 50,000 pesos in uh, American dollars? The entire showdown thing wasn't planned. <laughs> so this is where basically everything changed. You know, this is where they noticed the beautiful chemistry between these three adorable kids. And honestly, they should always be thankful to uh, Vice Genda because apparently, you know, as you as they said, it wasn't planned. So Vice Genda probably had the idea to make them sing together that song and have them act it as well. <laughs> overnight, it became viral because um, Snoop Dogg tweeted the the video Rebel Wilson and what? all the other. Snoop, Snoop of all people retweeted that video. What? Hollywood celebrities. Pwede pala maging viral yung ganung kanta po namin. For the longest time kasi walang bata. Walang... Ah! That was that was me. That was me and uh, I'm Angel. Oh my god. Walang trio ta boy sa celebrities. Pwede pala maging viral yung ganung kanta po namin. For the longest time kasi walang It's us. That is crazy. <laughs> Us being silly. Bata, Look walang, at me. <laughs> walang trio to boys na kumakanta. Oh, yeah, and I'm so happy. <laughs> happy because there are many viewers and... Mackie and Puerto's voice was still a kid's voice, but now it sounds a lot more manlier, you know? And reactions. I'm so excited to see you soon. I wish we have more fun with each other. Little big shots, huh? Boys, that time na flavor doon sa show. Ang pinaka importante doon sa Your Face Sounds Familiar is magaya nila yung pagkanta, <laughs> magaya nila yung choreography. I remember all these performances because we did react to most of them. Si magaya nila yung yung pinaka mannerism. TNT boys. <laughs> they were really expecting to do bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> With the attitude, my gosh! Pum, 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 pum. <laughs> All right, Francis, show them that Nicki Minaj verse. Yeah. Awesome! The TNT boys bagged the grand prize in your face sounds familiar kids for their performance of Bang Bang. This caught the attention of many people from around the world including one of Bang Bang's original performers, Jesse J. Bye bye! In an Instagram live post, Jesse J said, I think the TNT boys from the Philippines are incredible. They did it better than us. Woo! <laughs> TNT versions. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I guess episode two is gonna focus more on the hardships of being, uh, you know, a singer, you know, and they're gonna talk about their careers and how careers eventually uh, stop, you know, especially when you're uh, a singer, you know, as famous as you can be, you know, it's hard to maintain a career. It's basically hard to maintain it, to maintain it at that, you know, high level. But I wouldn't worry about them. I mean, they are learning a ton, you know, through this experience and they will be able to find, you know, a job that is connected to the music industry. You know, they can be I don't know, sound engineers, or they can they can keep singing, obviously. They can open their own YouTube channels and make awesome covers. They can become hosts or coaches or something like that, you know? 
they will remain in the music industry arena eventually you know they will have a lot of experience to relegate to the new generation to the upcoming generation you know like they will find use for the tnt boys i mean if they don't then i will i will hire them to work with me man <laughs> uh, but yeah guys this was awesome i cannot wait to watch episode uh, two I don't know how many episodes they're going to be releasing, but this is awesome. We haven't really seen their journey, uh, their international journey, you know, on Little Big Shots or uh, their concerts, you know, in Canada and uh, in the US. Um, so yeah, probably they will show all that on uh, episode two. So stay tuned to that. Let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this reaction and your thoughts on the, B the TNT boys, of course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video as usual. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.